there is. And this video is the pre-travel day. It's pre-travel day. It's Friday the 28th of January. It's pre-travel day. We are currently on the M4. Joe's driving, as you can see. I get to relax. Um, we're travelling up to Heathrow because we are staying overnight so that it's less stress tomorrow. We can just get up, have a nice Chill morning. chilled morning, not trying to travel, and then check in, see how that goes, um, and get to Florida. I'm excited. I can't wait. You can't wait. I can't wait. Um, it's it's going to be amazing. It's all a little bit surreal that it's happening, but it is, and we will tell you once we get to the hotel, all the fun we had to go through to just make sure we're allowed to go, because um, it has been a bit of a stressful time, more for me than you. Yeah, more you. So, yeah, but we're, we're, we're all good. We've got the green light, we can travel. Um, so hence why we're on our way. Um, we will show you a bit of the room. We are staying at the Hilton Garden Inn at Heathrow Terminal 2. Uh, we never stayed there before. Never flown from Heathrow. So yeah. this is all completely it's new. It's the first. We're used to driving to Gatwick. Um, so this is completely different. So we need to get this vlog series started. So let's get to Heathrow. There's our hotel. Cool. The Hilton Garden Inn. So we've made it. Yeah. Dropped the car off, purple park in, that was a breeze. We got the coach over. Literally dropped us right outside the front of the hotel. I can't complain with that. No, it's right. I was thinking we were gonna have to walk miles just to find the hotel. So we are gonna now go and check in and get up to the room. We are room. 1303. Let's see if anybody's home. There he is. You didn't order room service. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've come empty handed. Well, that's me. Good. It's the room. Look, Jay's all happy in the room. It's like that weird sticker. That's to say, it's the room's been cleaned. So yeah, this is where you come in. We will go straight into the bathroom, shall we? Go on then. Look at this. Nice little shower. A rainfall. It is a rainfall shower. There is a little bit of uh, paintwork needed on the ceiling, but I can cope with that. Silicon. Bit of silicon. Yeah, Joe's obviously painting and decorating skills coming to play. Some tissues. A nice basin. Nice little... Ooh, look at that. Running water, always a good sign. What have they got? There is Crabtree and everything. You say that like, that's the obvious, is that a big uh, thing? No, because they, you, when, I, when I worked for Hilton, they always used to have Crabtree and everything. Ah, so what have you got? Shampoo, conditioner, body wash. A bar of soap. Facial soap. Nice, and some, what are they called, flannels? Oh, that's good. You got a little shaving. It's got a face cloth. Right? Towel test. Towel toucher. Towel toucher. That's quite not too bad. It's quite nice. Nice mirror. I like these large mirrors in a bathroom. We've had a conversation about that already, haven't yes. we, Joe? Uh, hint, hint. So yeah. So nice little space here. So we put we have throwing our cases in here out of the way. So you have an iron. Ironing board, hair dryer. hair dryer at the top. Very nice. Hanger, one, two, three, Another long mirror. Four, five, Here we are. Six, seven, eight coat hangers. Eight coat hangers. Currently just using one of them. 
And then here's the king size room. Look at that. That is a big bed. Yeah, that's a pretty big bed. I am going to sleep very well tonight. We've already decided who's sleeping on what side. That's a big TV as well. That's a decent size TV. That is a big TV. What's that, a 55 inch? Samsung 55 inch? No idea. I reckon it's about 55 inch. Nice little desk, you know, if you need to uh, do some work. Little mini bar, nothing in it at the moment, but that will get filled up in a minute because we will get some drinks for this evening. Tea, coffee, twinings, bit of grey. Oh, Dow Edwards, coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, but um, Jerry likes oh, yeah. a coffee. Oh, look, that's like a hidden Mickey. <laughs> what? It's like the reflection where the plug socket is, but if you look at it quick, it's like a hidden Mickey. I like the chair. Joe likes the chair. So Joe, you can tell that it's been moved because Joe's decided he wants a chair like this and a table like this. And I want to just be able to eat my food again. In front of the TV at home. Because yeah. this is like good. It's like good level. Or you could sit at a dining table. Yeah. But when you want to get comfy. Yeah, it is a comfy chair. Yeah, it's quite comfy. It was safe, which is good. Telephone and the bed. We haven't got any USB sockets. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Is that one over there? There is a USB socket over there. Just the one? That's quite nice. What about the pillows? What are the pillows? Mm, they're okay. They're not the... I like a firm pillow. You... Are you just being a pillow puffer? I'm being a pillow puffer. Puff the pillows. <laughs> puff the pillows. Yeah, there is USB. Okay. So that's quite that's good. Bin, yeah. So yeah, I think this is quite a nice room. However, what it is a view it is a very good view this is the best view we've had, yeah, we've never had a view like this. um no matter where we stayed um hampton by hilton holiday inn south terminal at gatwick um yeah not had a view I'm not saying we've had bad views but we've not had a view like this we pretty i feel like we are in the terminal yeah, does that make sense? Like, yeah. It's yeah, like, it's yeah. So, I'm assuming Joe's going to turn the lights off, so it might go dark. Um, to too warm. Yeah. And then we are. I'll give you a little look out the out the window. So keep watching, keep watching. We're we're having mm -hmm. a little look. We've just missed a plane going off. Oh, and it's got dark. I'm going to turn you around so you can have a little look for yourself. So here we are. This is our view. So you literally that like that's the runway and they're taking off so you can see i don't know if um i'll try and zoom in a bit you can actually see a plane taxiing down you the runway now hear my stomach rumbling then as well joe's hungry is joe joe wants food is that a ba no that's uh emirates isn't it oh, emirates that's it yeah um, yeah yeah is it the um a380 is that the a380 Yes. I think it is. Yes, it is. It's an A380. It's the A380. It's the double... That's funny, because when we was at Gatwick... We seen one... We seen one flying yeah. in, and that was an A380. Yeah, it's an A380. That's a massive plane. That is a big plane. But, yeah, literally... That's crazy. We, I've never, ever, ever, ever seen that. Like, room with a view. And it's, it is dark, so, obviously, I, th I think in the day... Tomorrow morning would be interesting, because... It will be lighter, so you might be able to see more. Hmm. But I'm intrigued now to see if there, there's a plane coming in. Joe's taking pictures. That's crazy. I don't think the camera's going to do this justice so that you can see how close we actually are. Cause... I don't know. Can you see that on my phone? So I've just taken a photo. Hang on. Let's have a look. Yeah. There we go. Just so it's a bit brighter, so you can actually, like that's how close we are. And that's not zoomed in. That is crazy. That is. Yeah, he's parking up. That is a beast of a plane. That is huge. How that thing gets off the ground, I do not know. Yeah, I can't think of the. My stomach's going. Your stomach is going again. I can't think of your stomach going. No, I can't think of how a plane gets in the air because it's a little bit scary. Especially that size. That is a big plane. 
That is crazy. That really is crazy. I can't believe one, a literally an A38 is just, and an A38, <laughs> an A380 is just parked up just there. There. So, That's mad. But, yeah. So yeah, that that is a view. It's it's lighter now. Joseph turned the lights back on, which is much much better, much better. Um, yeah. So we're here. It's pre-travel day. We've got lots to kind of go through because yeah. we want to talk through what we had to go through to get here in the first place. All the making sure that you know we had all the right tests, all the right um, documentation. So we will go through that, um, and then we'll kind of give you a bit of an idea of what we're getting up to. Yeah. In Disney. What we're excited about doing as well. Yeah, there's a few things that's new, completely new to us. That we haven't tried. Because um, it's been, we did work this out, didn't we? It was 813 days. Yes. 813 since we days home. since we, yeah, we were last at Disney. So it's been a long time coming, which I think... The same for quite a few of you. Um, but we're going. I can't wait. It's don't seem real. No. It's come around quick. I think as soon as we had the test this morning. Yeah, uh, that was got like. That done out the way. Then it was like, oh my God, it's happening. Yeah, it's, yeah. Happening. it's definitely happening now. So, yeah. Amazing. Right, should we get some food? Yeah. His belly's be. going again. It's rumbling. Let's eat. So room service arrived. Nice little man brought it in on a tray. Joe is very excited. Look. I can't wait. What did you have, Joe? So I had a pepperoni pizza. What was it called? A ricotta picante or something? R yeah, r rustica. 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 Picante. That looked look quite nice. Do you know what that is? That's rocket, isn't it? Yes, but what is it in American? Oh, I can't remember. Arugula. Arugula. I need to remember this. Some chili flakes. Pepperoni. And I ordered some chips. Because I wasn't sure how big this pizza was. They are nice chips. They do look like good chips. But it is quite a big pizza. So I, I, I think that's a decent sized pizza. Um, and I went for a real posh dish. Um, can I something start now? You can just carry on eating. Okay. Yeah, I went for a really posh yeah. dish. Um, yeah. Bacon cheeseburger chips with some coleslaw and a Coke. But that does look really good. Those chips look really nice. Let's try one. They're good chips. They're good chips. So we're going to stuff our faces. Mm -hmm. And then, I think the plan is we're going to have a little walk over to the terminal. Are we going to go to terminal two and then to terminal three? Yeah, so we want to just kind of, because we've never flown here for, before from Heathrow. Familiarise us. Yeah, know where we're going so that tomorrow morning it's a straightforward straight to the terminal um so that's the plan so we're gonna have a little walk over to terminal three get our bearings so we're gonna eat and then head over to terminal three so we've eaten food was good tasty joe's sprawled out on the bed he's pretending to get asleep so he hasn't got to walk around i'm not i'm gonna walk around i'm gonna go for a sleep you're gonna go for a sleep exactly you said there exactly what it was that you were thinking they're a comfy bed I'm not gonna lie yeah that's what you said I'm, te I'm just gonna test out the bed and the pillow and the you pillow like to sleep in alright I'm just gonna have a trial he hasn't taken his coat off yet no <laughs> nice little walk through the corridors nice little bit of down lighting there's a lot of rooms not used because the stickers, you can tell they've been cleaned. Oh, lifts. Very warm in here. It is warm. So you've got your sanitizer. Joe's giving you a demonstration. That's how you get clean hands. Covid free. Covid free. In we go. We're going to go. We need to go to, to Link Bridge to Terminal Doors 2. Closing. Oh, we're going to the 14th. No, the second. We're going to the 14th. Yeah. The runway bar. And we need the tick. We need the key. There we go. Okay, runway bar. 
I wonder if you can see both sides from the wrong way back. Maybe. It's be cool. Wow, that's like a 2008 Rolls Royce Pegasus 106. It was fitted on British Airways GR7 Sea Harrier, the jump jet. Huh. See, that'd kill you if that was going fast. That's quite short. <laughs> <laughs> Chop you up. Oh, this is very poor. So look. Where is the bar? Is it around that side? It is. We're outside. Wow. Oh, this is crazy. Is the plane taking off? Oh no, that's landing. So this yeah, is the runway we can see from our room because there's the A380. That is mad. Yeah, we've never been like this. Look at him going, up he goes. <laughs> so they're coming in this coming way, in that way. So this is Terminal 2 over here. You've got this side of the runway, which is where they are taking off. And then the other side, which maybe you can go the other side. There's an outdoor bit, that side maybe. There's Terminal 2, which is where we are going to head over, well, to head over to Terminal 3. Yeah, there's one over there taking off. Madness. Yeah, you got the Novotel, the Renaissance, Purple Parking is. Oh, yeah. That's where we got parked. This is bad. Oh. I can hear it. In the summer, this must be amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. That was cool. That was, that was a view. Hey. That was a roof with a view. Yeah. We are going to try and come back here and have a drink maybe tonight. Yeah. After we've had a little wander around. Just waiting for the lift, but no, that was cool. There's a reception. There is a tiny reception. Yeah. I thought it would be bigger. Considering how big this is, it's four little checking desks. Four little checking desks. But hey, yeah. a little ATM. Fresh. So this takes you to Terminal 2, and then there should then be a walkway from Terminal 2 to Terminal 3. Standard. <laughs> you landed that a bit heavy. Yeah. Nearly there. It's not too bad, but it, it's it is, a bit of a it is a bit of a trek. Like you got to kind of go around the houses a little bit, but could be worse. Escalator up to Terminal Three. Oh, that wasn't bad going. So they're in check-in desk A. There we go. Look at that, Virgin Atlantic. That is so cool. Yeah, so you've got the A. I think we can, at least we know where we're going, but yeah, let's have a little, a little nose. There's quite a few checking desks. So that was easy. Yeah, that was well easy. We found where we need to go, and hopefully, we found that there's specific check-in desks Whoa. for Virgin Fly Ready. If you've kind of uploaded all your documentation, which will explain once we get back to the room, and if that is the case, then 
hopefully the queue should check in won't be too bad. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, but we're heading back now to Terminal 2. We're going to pop inside. There's a WH Smith, so we might get some snacks, snacks. and some drinks. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with that. I was expecting it was going to be a bit of a trek, but that was quite easy. To it's find, not that so. bad. No, I'm, I'm happy. Stress levels back down. Terminal 2, the Queen's Terminal. Joe's Terminal. <laughs> And we are back in the room. Can we go to bed yet? No, it's only 20 to 9. I'm tired. But we're back. Yeah. Found the terminal, like we said. That was quite easy. Yeah, Seen the check-in desk. Pretty straightforward, wasn't it? Um, so I mentioned a minute ago about this Virgin Fly Ready and the fact that they had specific check-in desks if you were Fly Ready. So... Basically, the Fly Ready is through Virgin Atlantic. You can log in online. You put in your uh, like your flight booking reference, and you can upload your test results to show that you've had a negative COVID test prior to your to your flight, and you can upload your vaccination record to prove that you're double vaxxed. And then by doing that, basically you've you become verified. You you're 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 basically you've done all your your documentation. You've proven that you're you're all good to fly. Hence, fly ready. Um, if you don't do that, then you've got to show all your documentation and get verified when you're checking in. So it can take a while. Yeah, and just from looking around tonight, there were other Virgin flights checking in. The fly ready kind of desks were empty. You had maybe like a handful of people there, but there wasn't even a queue. Whereas the normal check in desks were rammed. Oh, yeah, it was packed. So I'm hoping that will be similar when we're checking in. Because mm. if it is, we should be able to check in easy. Yeah, there's, there's around 10 flights going out prior there's to quite ours a tomorrow. few Virgin flights, yeah. So um, the flight that went out today was due to go at tw uh, 5 past 12 didn't actually leave until uh, just before quarter past one. There was a bit so, of a delay. A bit of a delay. Um, and as we're talking right now, that actual flight hasn't landed yet. Still hasn't landed. It's, it's still what, 9.30 now? Uh, quarter to nine now. It's quarter to nine now, and the flight that took off today hasn't I landed. I think it's land in about another hour. <gasps> you forget how long the flight is, but it goes quick. It does go quick. As I'm talking, I can look at outside. And, a, and another plane is taking off. It's mad. You can hear the rumble. You can you hear it. A slight rumble, not yeah. too much. Um, so, as of now, this is, like I said, the 28th of January, um, and all the COVID requirements that could, could change. Um, but basically, flying to the US, you still currently have to do uh, a test, either a PCR or an observed lateral flow test. Um, which is what we did this morning um, to prove that you're negative one day before your your flight so we're flying on the 29th so we had to do that test on the 28th um, we used um, Pranatics which is a project screen it's recommended by Virgin so it's quite easy to, rather than searching around for who to buy the test kits off and book the observation with we did it via them through Virgin um, and Virgin do offer a discount on the cost of the tests. So that was really, really simple. We did that a couple of months ago, and it, uh, so we, we kind of knew. And we were quite lucky because we bought tests thinking we had to do a test to come home. Yeah, because it was the day before you fly, two days before you come home to test, and then two days after, after you've home. got back. But they scrapped the testing to come back into England. So that was good we were able to use that test as our technically our day two test when we get home we gotta do that yeah but that changes on the 11th of february and we just miss out so we do have to test when we get home but we don't have to isolate while we're waiting for the test result which bonus um so there is quite a little few things to do and it was stressful this morning because as much as we knew that we 
we're okay that we, yeah we 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 taken natural flows prior to doing yeah. the, the actual test with them this morning so we knew we were okay we knew we were negative but... and then you just panic yeah you just it's go, like, what oh if my God, what if it just randomly actually go turn positive and you'd be like that's it i can't go can't go so to, to get the negative result and then get the confirmation back to say yes you are negative it was just like a sigh of relief so and it and then was like okay we are now good We're to go going. so so hopefully tomorrow because we've done the fly ready checking will be simple um we are touch wood. touch wood it's not real wood flying with virgin atlantic we fly out about lunchtime on saturday we've got uh, the number one lounge booked because there isn't a virgin lounge at Heathrow unless you're upper class. We're not upper class. Far from, Far upper, from class. upper class. Um, so we put the number one lounge so we'll get to go in there have a bite to eat and then we are staying at Disney's All Star Music. Which There's is a change. New for Well, still All Stars. It's still All Stars. But it, and it it's really, not sports. It's not sports. It's music. It's music. Sports is currently closed at the moment. Yeah. Um, again, off the back of the pandemic. But... Hey ho. Yeah. So, so that's the plan. We're there for for a week. We fly We're back. We're hoping for a refurb room as well, aren't we? We are. Well, some of the rooms I think have been upgraded, but don't know if they're the family rooms. If all of them, so it'd be great if we do. But if we don't, we know what the all star rooms are like. So not too fast, but it's ideally. It's basic, but it's good for us. Yeah. So. That's going to happen for a week. We're going to be there. Can't wait. Um, there is so much that we haven't done yet. So you'll need to make sure that you're subscribed because every day we'll be vlogging and you'll have to see what it is we're actually getting up to. Um, we have got one thing I will say we have got because we won't be able to vlog it is we are going to watch the new Cirque du Soleil um on disney show on wednesday night so we can't vlog that because you, you you can't obviously record in there but we we'll can't wait for that and after we? yeah really looking forward to that so, we may go up to the runway lounge again i want to because it was cool up there we better go up there then ready come on then let's, let's go up there and then we can have an early night yo yeah it's cocktail time Look at that. Ryan's already taken a little sip of his. And his it, face was a bit of a sight. A bit, it's a bit strong for you? It's a bit syrupy. What's wrong with that? It's quite sweet. But... You you gotta put, yeah, you might need to put that in it. I normally do that as a shot. Go on then. <laughs> Shots, shot. Yeah. You just gotta shot it. How was that? You've still got a little bit left in that. Yeah. That means that tastes better. Okay. I'm gonna try mine. Joe's turn. With this bad boy. Cheers, ears. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Let me try yours. Oh, that's lovely. Try, you can try mine. That's like strawberry milkshake. Strawberry milkshake? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's quite nice. <laughs> okay, Ryan approves. Ryan thinks mine's nicer. Do you want to try it? Have, a, have another try? That's always weird. Yeah, I don't but get why they don't taste basil. No. Really nice. Try that. Try this. Right, I'm going to give this one a go. Hang on. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It just tastes like a porn star martini. I think it's syrupy, but it's not awful. This, however, I could just drink all night. Really refreshing. That is really nice. I'm surprised by that. It's really nice. The basil, I was a bit like it. It reminds me of like a crushum. 
crusher. No, crusher. Is it like the crusher milkshake in a glass of crusher? What was in it? Can you remember what was in it? I have no idea, but I want another one. That's what, for 15 quid? Not for 16 quid. 16 quid. <laughs> for 16 pound. Wow. Whereas mine was 15 and I got a shot of Prosecco as well. Say that again. Mine was 16 quid. 15. 15 quid. And I got a shot of Prosecco. Yeah, but that's a bigger glass, isn't it? Not when you take the ice out. Just let the ice melt and then drink it. But yeah, this is our view. I think it's raining outside. I'm not sure. I can see rain on the glass. It's raining. It is raining, yeah. So. Cheers. So, we've had a little drink. Just the one. But we thought we'd come back out to the balcony. Because um, the A380 is going to take off. So, see if you can see it. See the rain on the runway as he was running down it. You could see the spray. You know, like when it's on the right way. Yeah. Is that a Ryan? No. You don't get Ryan anywhere. That's you? the fun, the fun zone, isn't it? I think. Yeah, that was quite cool. It's cool. It's been a nice, chilled pre-travel day. I haven't felt stressed today. It's been nice. It's been chill. So we are going to head back to the room. There's a few little things we just need to sort out, make sure we've got the right stuff in the right cases. And then it's time for bed. So let's get back to the room. And we're back. Back, back in, in the, the room. room. Um, that was nice. We had a nice little drink. Yeah, we had a little cocktail. Had a little cocktail, having a little bit of a laugh. We chose basil. 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 But yeah, so we've done that, we're back in the room. So we've got a few little bits to sort out. Um, and then we're just gonna pop the TV on and chill and, and have an early night. But yeah, it's 10 o'clock gone now. Yeah, yeah. so It'll it's not good. like, you know, it's not like we're going to bed at six o'clock. Um, we, as you saw, we went out on the runway bar balcony bits. So that was cool, love that. That was yeah. really, really fun. And I That's can imagine the summer. Mean. Oh, that would yeah. be amazing. Flying from Gatwick, we have never experienced that. No, you, you're kind of tra yeah. trapped away from it, aren't you? So that is a top tip and definitely a perk about staying here. Um, I would 100% recommend this hotel. Yeah. Um, it's not the cheapest hotel, um, but for its location, because you're right in the middle of the two runways, rather than being on the main bath road, where all the kind of the hotels are. Um, so you've got that convenience, but it is, as well as being a good location, it is a really nice hotel. Yeah. Food was really, really good. Yeah. And you, uh, uh, not cheap, but average price for what you yeah, pay at a hotel like price. Yeah, it's like hotel prices. Yeah, I don't think you can kind of go wrong with that. Yeah. Um, but views, amazing. That runway bar, brilliant, love yeah. that. So I would highly, recommend um but yeah that's uh pretty much it i think i'm gonna go to bed well, i'm yeah. just gonna lie in bed watch tv but it does mean that the next time we see you it will be travel day we will be getting on the plane we will be going to disney oh my god i'm so excited i can't, I can't wait. wait yeah I'm so buzzing. Buzzing. should we just hurry up and get to travel day yeah well do it. it's tomorrow for us It'll be a week later for you, so make sure you've subscribed. Please like this video because um, it really helps us out. Leave a comment as well. Leave a comment. Let us know what you thought um, of, of the hotel. Did you like what you saw? Would you stay here? Um, let us know. But that's pretty much it. Pre-travel day is done. done. Travel day tomorrow. Disney tomorrow. 
But for now, it's adios from me. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.